Wow. <laughs> Yo, what up, everybody? Welcome. Welcome. We are our crib in our crib. On cut. On cut. What's up, everybody? You already know who we had coming through. It's Dolo. Oh wow! Oh wow! Yo, that is shirt by the way. I know. I try. Look at that. Look at the fit. Look at the. I'm trying. Like an elevator view. Let me get a small thing. Just a small thing. Just small. Hey, for check. The very first episode of Our Crib Uncut. Blessed. You're our first guest ever. Humbled. This is something that you guys have trusted me with yes, for the yes. very first episode yo yes. shout out to the whole team you came in clutch i, I hope don't. to make y'all proud you will no. <laughs> you, you already, already have the way you, you showed already, up yeah. i was already impressed i'm yo. like i know you're not here to play he never is mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i you? came from ottawa just for this I, you, it was my mom's birthday yesterday oh Okay. I woke up at six o'clock in the morning, right? To be right here. Man came from the capital. This Absolutely, <laughs> man came from, from the capital. capital. It is not Toronto. <laughs> I trust me. I've had this conversation. How yeah. People know that at home that the capital of Canada is Ottawa. Is Ottawa where I'm from? Did you know that it's not the six? It's not downtown Canada. But we are in the six. Actually, let's tell them where we're at right now. We are at our crib that is housed at Level Up Studio. Yes. What up? What up? What up? Thank you so much for the love, you know, being able to use this as our crib every Literally. Thursday. Every Thursday. At 7 p.m. So if you want to be someone like Dolo, like, hey. we're about to begin the show because this is not even the show right This is here. not even this the is, show. This, this is, is uncut. This is the pre-show. This, this is the pre-show. Pre All right. Are you, ready? are you ready to go? Like, Come on. Are you what did like, you come here to do? Yeah. I'm here to have a good time. Okay, Let's we go. Have a lot in store for you today. Let's like, go. Like, come on. We're gonna get into like some hot topics and all that jazz. As long as they're ready for me, I'm ready. Yeah. All right. Let's oh, get it. Oh, 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 oh. Skadoosh. Let's go. Check, check. Our crib on cut. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Dola the gifted in the house. We're gonna have some fun today. Let's get it. The name of the song is A Good Time. Very important that y'all have a good time. Let's go. Welcome to the party. Everything that we do with the day is on me. Hope you got your homies. By the time we get to go home, you're gonna be a zombie. Yes, I see you shorty. The way you look at tonight, I'ma just make you my baby. Shout out to security. The way we take it tonight, everything about to be blurry. Come on. From the left to the right, grab a, grab a drink tonight. Come on. From the front to the back, from the left to the right, grab a drink tonight. Oh my God. If you didn't know, I understand you messing with the boy, though low. Hey, 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 my mind. I just wanna see you go have a good time. Feeling out the energy, you understand the bleed, you know what's coming from me. Only thing on my mind, I just wanna see you go have a good time. If you didn't know, I understand you messing with the boy, don't know. Only thing on my mind, I just wanna see you go have a good time. Feeling out the energy, you understand the bleed, you know what's coming from me. Only thing on my mind, I just wanna see you go have a good time. From the head to the shoes to the way that you move, I can see you can move. Oh I got friends, you got friends, we got drinks, you got drinks, and you know we can fuse. We can dance, we can eat, we can jump, we can sing, and you know we can choose. Yeah, we got what you want, yeah, we got what you need, no, there ain't no excuse. Oh, you thought that the vibes was it gonna be tonight, no, you got me confused. Cause the vibes that we see gonna shine so bright, yeah, we gonna make the news. From the front to the back, from the left to the right, grab a drink tonight. Come on, from the front to the back, from the left to the right, grab a drink tonight. Let's go. If you didn't know, understand you messing with the boy, don't know. Only thing on my mind, I just wanna see you go have a good time. Feeling up the energy, understandably, you know what's coming from me. Only thing on my mind, I just wanna see you go have a good time. Come on, if you didn't know, understand you messing with the boy, don't know. Only thing on my mind, I just wanna see you go have a good time. Feeding up the energy, understandably, you know what's coming from me. Only thing on my mind, I just wanna see you go have a good time. One more time, like, if you didn't know, I understand you messing with the boy, don't know. Only thing on my mind, I just wanna see you go have a good time. Come on. Feeding up the energy, understandably, you know what's coming from me. Only thing on my mind, I just wanna see you go have a good time. Come on. Feeding up the energy, understandably, you know what's coming from me. Only thing on my mind, I just wanna see you go have a good time. Come on. Feeding
thing on my mind I just wanna see you go have a good time hey. If you didn't know, I understand you're messing with the boy don't know hey. Only thing on my mind, I just wanna see you go have a good time Feeding off the energy, understandably you know it's coming from me Only thing on my mind, I just wanna see you go have a good time Our crib, our cut, let's go Yo. Wow. wow. That was crazy. 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 Energy. Ooh. Every time. Thank yo. you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. No, thank you, yo. Thank you, thank I you. How do you feel? I feel like having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. We're ready. I feel this like is having a good time. Us having a good time at our crib. Uh, this is nice, by the way. You like this? It? Is you like our crib? Just, insane. Just the place. Yeah. Oh, my uh, goodness. You know, uh, Compliments to Ikea. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Got that. Wayfair. The <laughs> Ikea, Ikea Wayfair, if you're watching, know that we did this. So, you know, help us out next time. Oh, well, absolutely. Right. Get that sponsor when I give a little sponsor. A little song song. <laughs> nah, this is nice. Good job, guys. This is really mm. good. Thank you so much for having me you're once again. Welcome. Of course, man. Thank Honestly, you. like, ever since I met you, yo, it's been performance I, you are a performer hand it down you're disciplined like yo like there's not a lot of people i look at and saying like you're like disciplined going out there like and you're like top top for me this is yeah. where my bread and butter is mm -hmm. it's what happens when i'm on stage yeah yeah and that's where i come like alive my i have wings that come out i don't know <laughs> it's like crazy feeling music gives you wings Abs ah, yeah. come on yeah. come, come on music oh y'all let's go music gives you wings yes, you uh copyright <laughs> copyright <laughs> copyright no i come alive when i'm on stage and i get to perform it's a privilege that we even have that opportunity, especially the world, the world of today. So that is my bread and butter. I love to be on stage. I love to be able to perform and to give life to something that used to be here. As you guys are artists, yeah. so you yeah. understand. And actually, um, it, I'm glad that you mentioned that we are artists. We didn't. Some people know us at home, but some sure. people don't. Exactly. So we That's should tell true. them who we are, yep. all of us, yep. and why we even did this. Why <laughs> we're here today. <laughs> why are we here? Yeah. Ladies we first. Here? Ladies first. Ladies okay. first. Please. Yes. Come on. So I'm gonna let them know. My name is El Delion. All right. I want to introduce my lovely co-host. I'm Alston Davis. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I promise, like, as Dolo said, oh, yeah, let him know. Let him oh, know. yeah. Who are you? Oh, 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 What's up, everybody? My name is Dolo the Gifted, a member of OAB, a multidisciplinary artist from dancing to creating in four different languages. They call it a polyglot. I learned that the other day. I, I used to say it was quadrilingual, completely wrong. Oh. It's called a polyglot. Uh, choreographer, actor, model, uh, uh, but mostly I am a musician and I'm just here to entertain. Give you all a, a peace of mind for a few minutes and that's it. That's what God has put me on earth to do. So. Oh, oh, ah! Oh, amazing. oh, ah, yo. I love sir. it. And your performance was amazing. And really, we're just, this is just the beginning of an experience that we want to bring everybody through in our crib. Because mm. both of us, yeah. you may not know, we are organizers of two major um, arts organizations here in Toronto. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to our organization. Big. Shout out to Rise. Shout out to Afro MTO. Yes. And um, those organizations provide platforms for emerging artists. Such as Dolo. Dolo, definitely, you have, like, honestly, you are the blueprint of what, why we exist exactly. in the jobs that we do. We mm -hmm. want to help artists just like you to, to be able to make it, yeah, yeah, to the big stage. Yeah, yeah. And you've made it you've to big stages. You've been stages. on big stages. <laughs> you've been across the way. You've been in Africa. Like, yo, you got to talk about that. Yeah. Just, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, exactly. I will, but I'm going to look at the camera, whichever mm -hmm. one I have to look at and say this. Mm -hmm. Afrowave and Rise have given me the two biggest opportunities as an artist in this city that I have ever gotten. And I'm being very serious when I say this. When I did your 10 year anniversary, yeah. that 
skyrocketed me to like so many performances. It was insane. When I opened for Sean Paul, Jeez. that skyrocket like like thank for like I'm not trying to get emotional about <laughs> real talk. Like thank you guys so much for even giving me the opportunity to to share this space and to show that if you're an emerging artist in a city, you need to get in contact with both of these organizations. They will literally change your life. I've been an artist since 2017. Mm -hmm. First three to four years, ah, ah, ah. And you know, we know, when you try to do something in this, like, and the city's not really, doesn't really have your back yeah. like that, yeah. it can look rough sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then, guess what? You get on your feet, you go support other artists, mm -hmm. your network, That's and it. then next thing you know, you're in our crib you on know, cut. Our crib. You know what I'm saying? Right? That's yeah. the thing, especially when we're looking for people that we're trying to book for our shows, you know, and like, it's honestly, when we're thinking about an event, or any, I don't know about you, Al, mm -hmm. but on me, when I'm looking at an event, I'm thinking about who I saw last, who striked yes. me last, yes. who's been striking me. Like, I'm going to go back to people all the time. I'm always searching for new people, but who's in the industry? Who have I saw at, at, a, at a, an event just when I was out partying? Because like, you know what? You guys know me. I'll go out partying. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's, it's about mingling with me and getting to know me. That's how I'm going to remember you. Yeah. And it's about being that authentic you. So I'm booking you as like, you know, as a friend. You have to support other artists a thousand percent. And this... that's the other part I like about you. That supporting the artist part. Yeah. Because um, that's pretty much my journey to even getting to this seat mm -hmm. is I went out and I supported people because I thought what they were doing was amazing. Bingo. And yeah. I would just sit in the crowd and I would just really be in awe of everyone and even writing down notes and getting inspired, writing my songs, but not really going up there and doing anything. And then I was like, wait, I know they need people to keep this going. I'm no. like, I'm gonna put up some chairs. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the front desk, ah, right? Come and on. And eventually, like, like, yeah, I, I don't know if I set out to do it like this, but <laughs> man, this is, this is a dream come true sitting in this seat Honestly, right now. I, I don't definitely know how I really this. got here, to be honest. It started out like, just like, doing my own music videos and then all of a sudden just helping other other artist friends. Yes. And they need support, I need support. And then like, okay, how can I learn how to do that? How can I learn, already learn how to do that? How to combine that? And all of a sudden, like, I got a job. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Like, you really I fake mean, it to make it. This is my job. Yeah, like. Yeah. <laughs> and you know. Is. But yeah, you, you keep piling on and learn. I would just say, use, the, use your tools and your time to learn. Absolutely. You know? And Absolutely. You know, get your arsenal. Don't stop. Don't Bro, most important thing for me is you need to support other artists. I will talk to Toronto yeah. in the face. <laughs> Tell them about her. Tell them about A lot of people to from Toronto are tuning in right now. So please, yeah. like, let's talk about it. We're like, known for that, though. Like, we are. we're so known for that. You have to understand, if you want people to come to your shows mm. and applaud you, you have to go to other people's shows and yeah. applaud them. That's it. Yeah. It can't be one-sided. Yeah. It cannot and be one-sided. The weather that we are in. <laughs> the weather. The weather season weather. That the city is in is sometimes, because, you know, it's school face capital. Yeah. Yada, yada, yeah it's we true, though. We're really trying to get over yeah. that hump. If I have some time, I will go and I will watch someone's show and I will put money in their pockets and support them just how I would like for them to do that for me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Granted, I love music, mm -hmm. and I mean not just creating it, not just writing it, not just like I genuinely love music. And yeah, the other yeah. way I can get to enjoy is if I go to a show, or I'm not gonna sit at home and watch music videos all day. Mm -hmm. I'm saying like I'm a little old school. I like to get off, move my feet, and go watch a show. Mm -hmm. Hence, I go to Rise. Hence, yes. I go to Afro Wave. Yes. And if there's a big show, I go. And there's Art Starts. There's all sorts of other places that you go and you have live performance. And all our friends are performers. Yeah. 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 Literally. Yeah. Yeah. All of our friends are performers. So you go and you support them to the best of your ability. What comes in return, put it in the universe and... That's it. That's it. I want to say this. If you're worried about a, like a sh show not being fun, <laughs> you not going makes it not fun. You being there makes it, makes fun. it fun. I like, like you, that. You, it does. And it's like, I think people are scared about that. Like, well, this, the show was... I didn't, I didn't like it last time. Bring people that you like with there. Make it Bro, your own show. So like true. all we're doing, like shows, all they do is just bring you the the entertainment. Yeah, you know, you gotta be the crowd. Exactly. Yeah. That we feed off the energy of yep. the audience. Exactly. And like having the audience out there. That's why I always love to thank the audience, like at every show, because yeah. I'm like, you don't understand that without you, this it might not have even gone this way. Like the energy of the audience, 
may drive or redirect things that you decide to do. It's like, oh, they're really hype right now. Thousand so, percent. Right? So then I'm, I'm jumping in the air or maybe nobody's caring about me right now. <laughs> <laughs> now all of a sudden I'm in this shell and I'm just kind of waiting to get off stage. Oh like, no. I've seen that. Do you know what reminds me? Because it's actually prominent. I was, I was watching Beyonce's, you know, tour thing. Mm -hmm. And remember when she, she mentioned uh, to, to her audience it was Sweden or something like that? Guys, it was Sweden, Sweden or something? Something like that. Like, she was in Sweden and like she mentioned to the crowd just being like, oh, your energy's off. <laughs> and she went to the next, I think it was Brussels. And their energy was way better. And then she sat there and she said, y'all better than my last show. Oh. <laughs> but it's, you know what I mean? It really, you put on all this, all this effort to, hey. for you, for, for you. My friend. And you're sitting there and what? Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. If I could sing, like hold, <laughs> if I was the Alistair, I if I could hold yeah, some like notes <laughs> like Mr. Davis over here. And you can go to a crowd and you can either drop some Alicia Keys, drop some Usher, drop some something to warm the crowd, mm. songs that they know, mm. absolutely. And then eventually you do your own songs, you blend them in. Mm -hmm. When you are a quote unquote rapper mm. and you can only do originals, you have to come correct, my friend. Yeah, yeah. You really, I, I, that's the pressure I put on me is I got to get them from the jump. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I got to go right there. Mm. I got to get him off rip. Yeah. If not, it's going to take too long. And it's going to like, that's why I like to uh, perform without backing tracks. Mm -hmm. So you hear me, you see the veins coming off of my neck when I'm going like mm. so ex rapping yeah. extremely fast. And right. It's very hard to do. It took me five years to learn how to do this, mm -hmm. to be able to transmute energy mm -hmm. and to get it back. Right, it goes like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, no, wait, oh, are we gonna jump? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah let's yeah. go. Ah, uh. that's interesting. You say that because just, uh, I guess, seeing you go through that process just then, I'm like, that must be a big mental battle. You know, like it's really all about your mental trying to decide if what you're thinking in your head matches what's going on in your heart and mm -hmm. then trying to put it out on stage and you use that word transmute yes um, that's a huge word i recommend people look that up um transmute yeah <laughs> <laughs> because uh that is a word that's very transformative like it's really taking energy from one place and putting it into another place might not even be a place that you that's that energy normally is at like you know like you're taking <laughs> it from where where are you taking it from and before you answer that i'll introduce like our topic today is all about mental health mm -hmm. like that's what we want to talk about it's mental the, health month it is it I is i heard that from a friend from a friend of mine <laughs> did you yeah. <laughs> did? Yeah. so we want to talk right we want to talk about mental health and how possibly like how do we transmute that to the stage especially as creatives we are creative, so that's where this conversation comes from. But yeah. everything we talk about can be for everyone's life. Like, mm -hmm. I believe. I believe all of this can be transmuted. A thousand percent. Our <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm looking at all the cameras. Yes. Our <laughs> copyright. I got you. But yeah, tell us about, um, maybe we can get into one of our, like some of our questions on Please. mental health. Yeah. Because um, we have ones that we specifically want to ask you. Oh boy. And we'll see where the conversation goes. It's uncut. Oh so, boy. You know, you know. Okay, what you got? I know you're talking to us. Um, I guess the first one I want to ask you is like, do you have any mental health, um, do you struggle with mental health? There it is. Or ever have. Yeah, ever yeah. have. Great question. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Great question. Right to the nitty gritty. So, mm -hmm. when I was 16, mm -hmm. my mom gave me the silent treatment for seven days. How silent? Like, hey, my friend. <laughs> hey, hey. She was transmute. Yo, she was <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Uh, I my car. Oh, that was good. I could make my car coming right. That was very hell, good. You hell, you hell. Yeah, hell. that was poetic, <laughs> man. Like, like still cooking, still cleaning, still yeah. giving me everything a mother shirt, but seven did not, days? 
did not say one word to me, yo, bro. She saw you though. I messed up in a very big way. She see you. She like, wake up. No, yeah, next year. Y'all gotta have to be honest. She's like, looks in your eyes. If y'all bring me back for another episode, I'm gonna let y'all know. See, this is how you like build this type of career. But you did something horrible. Oh, I did. I did something a 16 year old would do. So my mom shut me down for a week. I went to the bathroom. And I looked at myself, and I spent four hours talking to myself. And I kid you not, I was there, and I was just like, bro, your mother's the world. She literally moved from another country just for you. She gave birth to your sisters. She did this for you, and then you messed up. And then I was just throwing, and I was Start. just, yeah, dude, just I was, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. that fight yeah, yeah, was yeah. serious. Yeah, yeah. That was probably the most depressing week of my life, mm-hmm. because I hurt one of the most important pieces of my existence, which was my mother. Mm -hmm. After that day, Mm -hmm. I came out of that bathroom literally a man. Like, Mm -hmm. I stopped all the buffooneries, my grades shot up to the sky, got a scholarship, went to university, all of that. So how did you get there? Like, how did you get to that point of of strength? What was your process? It's just, I, um, finding out that trying to impress everyone is not good for you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. high school pressures yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, ah, you pressure. know for those for you guys in high school right now good luck <laughs> y'all y'all are going through yeah i don't even want to know what y'all are going through right now <laughs> because before there was only like oh you want to be the jock the cheerleader the drama hey, hey. and now there's like tiktok there's just so many uh, instagram avatars, facebook like, yeah, yeah. metaverse yeah, metaverse yeah. Ah, Thank you. So, so what's honored. happening there? Yeah. Uh, God bless y'all. You li- hey, listen to a good time, but don't the gifted. Uh, should cheer you up. Yeah. Music I'm therapy. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. No, honestly, mm-hmm. I was doing too much mm-hmm. to try to impress the wrong people. Yeah. And once I gave, I literally gave up everything, and I focused on what's important for me and my family. Mm-hmm. And I stopped caring about people. That's when people started gravitating towards me. Yeah. It's the weirdest thing, bro. No, this is yeah. what happened. I'm, I will not talk to you because you're not good to me. And then because I'm not giving you my time of day, ah, ah, ah. Then you're like, hey, how you been? Yeah. And I'm like, I don't, I'm good. How are you? And then you keep going. Then they want more. Like, yeah. why are you ignoring me? I, mm-hmm. That, when it comes to mental health, I will be honest, that was probably like the, the hardest part. I graduated in psychology from University of Ottawa. Shout out oh. GG's. Oh, they oh, are yeah, yeah. Me too. Ah, 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 ah. I'm a double major with sociology and Tom. Mm-hmm. You're, You're here? I didn't, I didn't graduate in acting. <laughs> But it's all good, but you. Job, you know what? Yeah, you know what? But it's funny. I didn't do your job. Though. I love to say it because it's like when people outside of the arts world, when you say like you have a BFA in yeah. acting, they're like it kind of translated as like yo, you have to have a BFA in wind. That's how, <laughs> they see it like wind. That's what do you mean? That's how they see acting. They don't see. Like, oh yes. They don't yeah. latch on no, to what true. it is, so that they see it as like something like wind. Frivolous. Spirits. Yeah. <laughs> so you have a, you have a BFA. <laughs> A BFA in spirit yeah. hunting. Oh. I should have one to spirit yeah. fingers. <laughs> yeah, spirit fingers. Oh, how, how how much money you spend for that? Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> yeah. Sit there and be like, I know you. I know. Yeah. I know how it sounds. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's true. Um, yeah. But it's funny because recently I've started doing acting classes, and I have found that it is very challenging. And I'm like now seeing it. I'm like, whoa! I I also, honestly was one of the people that underestimated what it takes to be an actor mm-hmm. um and it, it takes a lot it takes, oh. Oh. oh oh my oh. god oh. we got a special guest everybody's having fun no uh, cupcakes. 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 cupcakes you want a cupcake i baked it myself Bailey <laughs> crocker what's up guys guys hey 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 thank you for coming Bonjour, bonjour. We got a special guest yeah. here yes. today. Gosh, I feel special already, man. Yes. <laughs> Bright lights, who pay for all this? <laughs> Actually, uh, you're at Level Up Studios right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Level Up Studios. Thank you, Level okay, Up Studios. Okay, okay. And anyone else that wants to help us keep the lights on, please yeah. call it. Seriously, yeah. we're, that was serious. Yeah, I'm Please call serious. this number. Yeah. yeah. Like, this like, when we can here. afford a number, <laughs> please call the number. Impulse. <laughs> 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 okay, so, Dennis, you got to introduce yes. yeah. Please. Let him know who I'm, you are. Yeah, I'm simple. I mean, um... Well, your, your name. I okay. said your name, but... Okay. Right there. Dennis Barham. 
Yeah. Woo! Yeah. That's a powerful yeah. name. You, you need black last name, you know. I haven't met another Dennis Barham. Mm -hmm. Barham the first So I feel special, special name, special atmosphere. So. I haven't met a Dola the Gifted either, so. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, that's why we're here, right? <laughs> And Dennis, uh, what do you what do you do in the creative industry? Who are okay. you? Yeah. So uh, I'd like to. So before, I never classified myself as an actor. I didn't feel I was at par. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Yeah. That I was an actor. So I was motivated from people in the industry. Then you got to put the energy out there and say yeah. you're an actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so now I confidently can say that uh, I am an actor. Yeah. 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 And I, I mean, I'm looking at your resume here, and I think uh, you're more than. <laughs> As somebody who's just starting out, and I know, Alistair, you had interest in acting as well. Uh -huh. um, we know what it takes to be mm -hmm. an actor. So for you to have this beautiful, you know, it's all these acting credits. Uh, of these acting credits, I won't read them all, but okay. which one was your, like, so, one that you're like, I made it. Okay, so a couple <laughs> things. I just got to humble myself. Yes, uh, yes, My resume is only this big in comparison to the grand scheme of things. Mm -hmm. Where you want, okay. Yeah. Sure. And so... Um, if I didn't think that uh, that way, um, in that mindset, I'd feel that I'm big. I'm almost at the ceiling. Mm -hmm. But I constantly remind myself um, where I was coming from. And, I, and okay, I won't swear how <laughs> doo doo I was. <laughs> I didn't have any training. I thought it was easy. Um, I thought I could just because I'm articulate and funny outside. Right. As a civilian, I thought I'd just step over the line and be like, oh, yep. yep. yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, and boy, it was a rude awakening. There's two concepts to that is. That was uh, the biggest hurdle. That was shell shocking to me, and I didn't have anybody in the industry with me. Mm. I didn't have anybody to lean off of. So uh, when I bombed auditions yeah. and I didn't know what I was doing, and two were blinks, I'd be crying. And mm. um, I'd wait, have, like, would you really cry? Like, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it hurts that much. On, I know. And, and that's actors, funny. Uh, yeah, tell yeah. me, so I cried in the bathroom. Yeah, I, I, or the I was back you get, or the don't, or you don't. Yeah, and yeah. so um, hmm. I, I could always take constructive criticism. It just mm -hmm. hurt a lot more back then. Yeah, you know, sort of mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't get, I didn't get the amount of constructive criticism necessary to bring me to the next level. Right. Mm -hmm. So in this field, it's a ha it's a must. Yeah. To get constructive criticism. And constructive criticism really hurts in this game. Yes, yes. it does. So, and then in addition to all the rejection, all the rejection, all the rejection, what's wrong with me? Um, uh, I quit one time. I quit. And literally about 36 seconds later, I'm like, hey, what am I going to do now? I'm a loser. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. plan B? Like, no plan B. No. No, that's what there's it was. No plan and, um, B. So it was a journey. It was um, memorization, uh, interpretation uh, of scripts, um, um, like everything, your voice, your tone. I have a deep voice. Yeah. So I was very um, insecure in my voice. So I would speak like this now, but during script time, I tried to manipulate it. And, oh. and I couldn't focus Ooh. on the script. And anyway, voice went in waves and like, Crazy. what are you doing? Awesome. My voice is you so know? high. And I was always insecure about my voice being so high. Yeah, 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 I get that. Some you people are like, oh, you're trying to be in the middle. Yeah, it's true, it's true. <laughs> My name's Allison Davis, <laughs> and uh, I'm here for the <laughs> role. <laughs> I'm good at you know, music. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so that's what it was. So, uh, uh, a long story short, even shorter. Mm -hmm. It's been a hell of a journey. Right. Um, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. um, the people that I came with, it, came in with, um, are no longer doing, or they lost the passion or the light for it. Mm -hmm. Right, and the the ultimate equation, the Einstein equation in acting is um, passion and hard work. So right. mm -hmm. if you have the passion, great. If you don't have it, you're not going to see anything in life. And even if you don't have the passion, you do it. You're not going to receive any kind of level of happiness out of it. Mm -hmm. And then the hard work comes. It may take you two years, it may take me ten years, but we're getting it done. Mm -hmm. right. 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 And so what you right. said resonates with mm -hmm. my story in the music industry. Mm -hmm. Everybody that I started with, gone. Interjection real quickly. I've seen him perform. I knew this gentleman beforehand. I didn't know he was going to be here. It was like, ah, aha moment, right? <laughs> I've seen him before. Good energy. He's amazing. Mm -hmm. I can verify that on camera. Yeah. <laughs> verify it right there. <laughs> Verifying it. Verifying it. Verifying. Check. Go ahead. Check. Thank you. No, that no. That was an important interjection. <laughs> Thank right. you. No, that no, that no, means that. a lot. No, no, no. no worries, Honestly. Man. I don't know if you guys have had this thing, but most of the people that when I started doing this musical journey and trying to be a mm -hmm. musician, there was like 10, 15, 20 of us that had just started at the same time, gone. I don't see them anywhere. I don't mm -hmm. see them performing. I don't see them dropping music. Their mm -hmm. social handles are done. Mm -hmm. It's really, if it, this is really what you want to do, mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. understand is it's literally a journey. Yeah. And you have to learn to enjoy the journey. 100%. Not, yeah. It's not because, oh, I got a show coming up. No, 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 no. Oh, I need to send email. Ugh. Not to be too critical. <laughs> um, individuals like that, whether they want to be an artist or an architect or whatever the case may be, they probably weren't meant for the industry anyway. So good way to come mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What I want to say is that uh, I'm 49 and I still play basketball. Mm-hmm. I don't have to be in the NBA to play basketball. Looking like 30. Yeah, I enjoy playing it, right? Also, you don't have to be, you know, on stage or doing this. If you enjoy music, you can do it in your backyard, for your yeah. family, mm-hmm. for get together. Because mm-hmm. it resonates with you. It's a part of you, right? Yeah. It's a part of you. You can't really get rid of it, right? Mm-hmm. And I always say with passion is too, passion is the best love you'll ever have because um, when you're down and out, you can rely on your passion. It's so true. When you're really, has, when you're really yeah. happy, you can rely on your passion. You're even happier, yeah. you know, sort of thing. Your passion will always be there to comfort you. Now, you said something thing that resonated with me you said you know something about finding your light mm-hmm. how do you both yes. find your light when you guys lose it inside the industry that you're in now like how do you guys what's your process of finding that light again you, you want to go first i gotta answer it i talked yes, about it. Here we go. Like, yeah. you know, i really want to know how do you take yourself out of the bathroom like yeah after okay, you're crying so, like how so, do you get back in there yeah. so the number one thing you come back to passion you know, mm. passion won't let you leave. Right. You know what I'm saying? It loves you. It cares for you. It's part of you, sort of thing. Right. Um, and so, that. and so, when I'm down and out, like I'm not doing anything. I see people on TV. I'm like, oh, I love it. Like I just love it. I love. I see people playing basketball on TV. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna go play basketball right. in the court, with the neighborhood, um, kids or whoever, and play because it, 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 the adrenaline pumps in front of me. You know what I mean? It just, I just feel it, right? The love mm-hmm. and even, even the aftermath of it after I play, it's like, oh, it's a calm down. It's mm-hmm. still a heightened motion as well, mm-hmm. as well, right? It's very potent. Um, um, and so, and then the component is with me is I had people in the industry say, Dennis, everybody goes through that. I'm like, really? I didn't know that. Oh, you know, we don't they, have people to, to tell yeah, us that in the beginning. Is. So, um, the communion, mm-hmm. number one, and the passion, the passion will always be in the equation of everything, but the, the, the community that you have with you, right? Yeah. Um, and it, it doesn't matter whether it's acting or whatever. If you're just a normal citizen that has a nine to five job and you're having a bad day, you still need a community. Right? Yes. So, I get the ability to continue because of how I was raised. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in losses. I believe in lessons. Mm -hmm. You're not going to hit every show. Mm -hmm. Not every show is going to, you're not going to get every audition. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nine out of 10 times, if I can get you to move, Mm -hmm. absolutely. Yes. That one time that it didn't work, I might be like, okay, do I have to change my set? That mm-hmm. yeah, I do yeah. not hit right? That I got to yeah, freestyle? Yeah. I got to do a backflip? What do y'all want? Take off my shirt? <laughs> I want, that, like, what do you need? Tell me what you want. <laughs> what you want. I, was, I do have the like, oh man, I could have done that set, but I'm not, mm-mm, that, mm-hmm. not that, that, why isn't that lady moving? Why shouldn't I move? What I do? What I, right? Yeah. And are those, you thinking those things on stage? Like, absolutely. Right in the oh, absolutely. Like, I would literally move to like, yo, what's up? Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm, saying, I'm not going to say what's up, but like, yeah, yeah. I might stay in this corner <laughs> The stage a little bit. I'm like, yo, tell my DJ, yo, bring this down. We're going a cappella. You know what I'm saying? We're going a cappella so you can get these languages. But does it change things when you? Yes, it does. It does. Yeah, absolutely, wow. absolutely, it really does. Okay. One, like transmuting my energy yes. towards the right place. Yeah. That's that, that, the that, that's yes. it's, it's the truth. It's the truth. And uh, in, in, in acting, um, to be an actor, like if somebody wanted to be an actor today, yes, you'd have to explain to them. It's going to be hard. You're going to have a lot of failures. I'm and without those failures, you're not yeah. going to develop. Yeah, um, and everything has a practical. So if you want to be a doctor, lawyer, garbage man, it doesn't matter what it is. You, you learn uh, the script, right? You learn uh, the dynamics of the True, job. True, the guidelines. The, guidelines. The blueprint, rules. What is, yeah. Rules, mm-hmm. laws and regulations. Mm-hmm. And then they put you in practical. Okay, let's see if you can do it. Yeah. Everybody has a practical. In, in, in acting, your practical is nonstop because you're constantly failing. You're con- yeah. Even uh, ho- uh, Hollywood actors are constantly failing. They don't get every script. Yeah. You know I mean? mm-hmm. And even when they do, they, they still have um, um, training, like on- ongoing training, uh, personal training, because it never, ever stops. It's just like uh, a computer course. There's always new technology. So you always have to educate yourself and re-educate yourself to Absolutely. accommodate mm-hmm. society sort of mm-hmm. thing. Right? Exactly. Yeah, but 100%. It's difficult. It's like a lot of failure. So then when you have times like this and... You know, people are, are noticing you on TV like, oh, my God. It's not the gratification that they notice you on TV. It's like, man, they stuck it out. Yes. Oh, my 
goodness. Honestly. Yes. Come to reflect yeah. in a flashback of all your mistakes, mm-hmm. your near tears, your mm-hmm. disappointing moments. Yeah. People in the industry and out of the industry say, hey, maybe you shouldn't do it anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's, all the free shows, my all friend. The free shows. Yes. The all the free shows. All the free shows. All the yeah, community yeah. acting. Yeah. All the free yeah. stuff. Acting you know, for exposure. Hours. Modeling yes. for exposure. Yes, yes. You people got to pay <laughs> your <Man>. artists. <laughs> I hear that with a lot of artists. Right? Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah. You people <laughs> have to pay the artists. Please listen. I know they get the. I know they make the money because I pay twenty bucks to get in. You know what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> so the other fifty people yeah. did too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 Look, yeah. man, they do not want to pay. Whether it's dancers, painters. You name it, they just don't. They think this is free for all. You guys, yeah, yeah, you want to do yeah. some community acting, please? Yeah, what will you give you? Uh, we have sandwiches at the back. I'm like, oh. Wow, I'm already wrapped in everything. <laughs> <laughs> Not even somewhere. I have made some them. dope food. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. It's true. It's I understand. True. Three years of free stuff, and then finally you get a paid gig, and you're like, oh, no. that's what it was. $75. Yeah, Thank yeah. you, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stuck through it. Yeah. And, and I don't then, know about you, I don't turn down jobs. You know what yeah, I mean? I take, oh, all. I take bucks, all of that. I take it. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, sir. 50 bucks. I'm taking Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I'm not in the position to Even be like, still no. now. Even now. No, I'm talking about right now. Now. Yeah. Right now. Absolutely. Yeah. When you, first of all, you get money, you get paid 50 bucks. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's still money. The other thing that you always learn while you're on set. Exactly. You get an you opportunity to practice your when craft. You're on set. You, you know? never know who's watching. You never know who's watching. Never know who's watching. You never know who's You never know who's watching. You know, sort of thing. Yeah. Um, do you have anything you want to tell people watching? Um, you know, any um, advice about dealing with what you've dealt with or anything? Um, the advice is, is where's the camera? 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 Where's all the five grand? Um, what I like to say is that if you love your passion, you're loving yourself. Don't give up on your passion. Mm-hmm. It's always going to be with you forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And if your energy doesn't translate to the masses of people. It'll translate to one person. You'll affect one person. And if you enjoy it, you enjoy it sort of thing. Um, don't give up on your passion. That's all I can tell you. It just brings you so much happiness. And there's a lot of negativity in this world. We need more passion in the world. <laughs> yeah. Passion in our lives, passion in individuals. It just makes for a nicer human race. So be passionate and uh, don't quit, whether it be acting or anything else. Don't quit. We're depending on you as human race. Honestly. Oh, yeah. Honestly, pressure. pressure. Yeah. 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 Yo, yeah, seriously. As, as hard as it's literally going to be, pro- I promise you, they came after me too. Stay true to who you are and Good to point. your art. Good point. Good point. The Instagram, the TikToks, the, the trends, all the trends. Yeah. The hashtags. It's, and the- true. it's like, you should do that. You should do mm-hmm. the plane. Yeah. You should. You mm-hmm. should throw ice water on your head. Yeah. And then you should go walk outside in the snow with yeah. your clothes it's on. True, it's true, it's true. You should eat some Tide Pods. That's what the cinnamon challenge? What the yeah. Bro. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. People were dying. Cinnamon challenge? And the Tide Pods. Yeah. The Tide Pods. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
how you might be able to like, if you're having a bad day, how does that translate or transmute into your <laughs> <the> script? <laughs> yeah. I've been I've been blessed with being an actor first, so I've had acting classes. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, I've had, I, 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 I lived in LA age. for a while. I had an acting coach. I did what needed to be done. When you get a script. And the character is co- the complete opposite of who you yes, are. Yes, how? I have what? to tap in. What, musically speaking, yeah, you can go and act. Mm-hmm. And musically speaking, I've been blessed to have gone through hardships and come out on the other way. I've been blessed to have gone through insane amount of like dopamine release and, and it go the complete other way. Mm-hmm. I've been blessed with the ability to control what I feel. In certain moments, 99% of the time, there's the 1% that if you talk about my mama, I'm <laughs> all <laughs> 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 oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, most people don't, so God bless y'all. Uh, I honestly, I listen to the beat, and the beat transmutes the. Oh man, the, uh, the, beat. the way I'm gonna use this in in, yeah. in no in the context of it. Can you transmute this burger onto the front? Like I'm gonna be using it. The <laughs> the <word. laughs> Just watch it. The B tells me what to write about. And like I see colors when I hear certain sounds. Like I see like if it's a jewel beat, I see red. If it's an RB beat, I see like light blue. If it's an Afro beat, I see yellow. Mm-hmm. And that's how I approach certain songs, whatever type of emotions that I want to see. Mm-hmm. The beat, I close my eyes, I see color, color di- dictates the, the emotion, the vibrations, and then I go from there. Mm-hmm. So I'm I've always been in control because I'm six foot two black muscle. <laughs> I'm saying like the way society sees yeah. tall yes. black men yeah. these days, it's a real thing. Yeah. yeah. It's a real yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. I'm saying the social masks sometimes have to be on depending on your area. Mm-hmm. But I when I'm just me and my music and my creative space, all the colors come out. And I tend to just do what I do. So when you hit both of you guys, when you hit a color or an emotion, and you get somewhere mm-hmm. that's like, because sometimes in acting and everything, like you gotta get to a dark place, yes. right? Yes. You gotta recycle that dark mm-hmm. place, like a lot of times. One hundred percent. How do you get back from doing so that? It's uh, so other emotions are easy to get back from, but for me to get back from crying, so I can cry really easy. I can sit here oh. and just start crying. But once I start, I start. I get puppy and I gotta do this. You know? So even if two drops come down, I gotta. Oh god! So my, my mind is okay, but my body's still recovering. It's from still doing. Mind, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But that's an emotional extreme, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the other extremes aren't as um, taxing to your psyche mm-hmm. and your body. But if you get a script, and the script dictates that. Um, regardless what, because acting is just telling a story, right? Right, and so re- like in under the umbrella of violence and you know and so forth, I'm not even going to describe some of the things that you have to go through mm-hmm. to prep your mind to be in that frame of mind to act that character or mm-hmm. you know uh, to bring that character to life. But after you bring that character to life, it's sort of like uh, that's why so many people in Hollywood, not so many people, but you have a handful that when they get into cre- uh, a character, where if it's method acting, mm-hmm. it's hard for them to get out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. they've trained your mind, body, and soul method. to be that character, and then to get out, like, oh, okay. method acting sort of is so yeah. hard. It's, hard. Yeah. it's crazy. I don't do method acting. Hard. I prefer the, the pass. Yeah. Yeah. Pass. I don't crazy. even want to. to me. Yeah. I don't even want to. Don't and know. for those that, that don't know who first. method acting is, method acting is, um, from my understanding, is you're taking an emotion that has nothing to do with the present right now. And that emotion is from your past. So if something horrific happened in your past, mm. you take that emotion, Bro, put it in the present, just the description. and use yes. that Draw. emotion. But sometimes that emotion isn't corresponding with that scene. And that emotion is just too powerful. And you don't want to um, uh, create any mental um, uh, atrocities in your head, taking that emotion and bringing it to the present. I so, will not play with my brain like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's very uh-uh. difficult. I'll just do yeah. a bad scene and call it what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not messing myself. I'm not up. betting. Nope. Nope. Two hundred and fifty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. Yeah, so. But something um, that you brought up while you were answering that last question was that the way society sees you. Oh yeah. That that can have an effect on your mental health. thousand percent. I know the way society sees me and kind of the stereotypes that I hear about me, angry black woman, like, if I even go like this, I've oh my God, I just did it. I've seen you angry before. Only you. You're me. And I talk with my head, right? Yeah. So these stereotypes, they have an effect on my mental health. We're I, laughing, but mm-hmm. at the same time, yeah, like, yeah. 
I'll be thinking about it. I, I'm thinking about how can I not present that way so that people take me Brother, the way I want to be yeah, taken. Hey, my advice is be yourself. Be yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, because you don't have to educate yourself. Society has to be educated yes. about yourself. <laughs> and I see a psychotherapist specifically for racism. Um, 49. Right yeah, yes. right now. Okay. And I, I wasn't about seeing anybody. I was that, I was that typical mm-hmm. um cultural black individual yeah. i'm not seeing i'm not telling my business to nobody um but i have the benefits so i said you know i'm just gonna use it you know what I'm saying? and um it was suge- some benefits yeah, that's true, eh? it was suggested by psychotherapy <laughs> it was suggested by an individual okay. a black individual so yeah. i was like okay i'm gonna try it out it was the best thing because you're they've um seen a thousand cases like you yeah right mm-hmm. so that's the first thing um they have a pool to go from um the, the additional thing is they're unbiased they're not my friend they're gonna tell me how it is you know yeah. sort of thing mm-hmm. and the third thing is to know that i'm not the only one going through this yeah. at this severity it you know really sort of helps. Thing. and so it helps me so i see them specifically for that just how to manage life you don't, I'm sure you don't see it on you. You don't see it on you, but I'm sure you manage your own mental illness when it comes to being a, a black individual male in oh, life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's constant, it's constant, it's constant yeah. to the point where, why even talk about it? Because yeah. we'd be talking about it every day all day. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. It can't get redundant sometimes. Yeah, and it takes away from your life, you know? Don't you yeah. know? I thought we knew this. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah. That's, <laughs> like, what you know, that's true. We're still talking yeah. about this, you know? We're, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. We've been talking about it. Like, so that's know? what it is. Um, that's how I feel. And what about so for you, Jolo? Do you... I've always been a very smiley person. I've noticed. Naturally, <laughs> I'm always grinning just because... I was born and raised in Africa, Angola. I'm in Canada right now. I get to see snow once a year. I'm very happy. <laughs> Trust me. I know just how fortunate, like, and I mean this with everything that I'm saying. I know just how fortunate I am to be in this position. Y'all are going to have a tough time to bring me down. Mm-hmm. Y'all are really going to have a... To get to me, you have to break me. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm being super honest. I've been called, do you name it? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know I what I can do to you, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Have a, God bless you. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever is yeah. happening in your life, I know yeah. it has nothing to do yeah. with me. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. And sometimes, so you have to get to me a lot. So I'm happy 99% of the time, but certain times if you happen to get to me, mm-hmm. I know I can't do what I, what I I'm going to be judged differently. Yeah. I'm going to be looked at, oh, angry black man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can't even re- stop, raise your voice. No. Stop <laughs> asking me yeah. if I have weed. Yeah. <laughs> Not everyone. Because I only sell yeah. crack. <laughs> even though I do. <laughs> let me get let me get a little <laughs> Tell them all these, all of these. I love these will I, be cut up for the real. I do not disclaimer. Sell drugs. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't have any. I, I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do none of those things. Mm-hmm. And actually, I was Jesus. going to ask you about that because I I do know you like from the internet. I definitely get inspired from your reels, your stories, because of the fact that you don't use any substances to be this high. Like you are always <laughs> high and big. And yes. Yeah, so if you could tell, because I know that lots of people at home who are watching you. One of the things that I see that you do that I think helps your mental health is going to the gym. You go like, yeah, oh, yeah. I started doing the pull ups and like, damn, <laughs> I can't even get up with help. You know what I'm <laughs> and I would love to know when that started for you. Did that precede any mental health issues you might have had, or did it come because of it? Night, like physical. The best way to put it is. Your body is literally your temple. Mm-hmm. When you push your body to the limits, you release a certain amount of dopamine. And that just automatically makes you happy and it releases so many stress levels, naturally speaking. Now, the reason why I go to the gym is some right now, three times a week, I go twice a day. Right now, three, three times, times a week, I go twice, twice a day. day. I go, I three wake up. Week, oh, yeah. twice What's your eating regimen? I'm clean right now. I fast 16 hours a day. I eat from Ooh. 8 a.m., to 6 p.m. After that, all is straight water. I bring it back oh, around. Oh, okay. Right, so from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., I eat my two meals, I have my snack in the middle, and then back and forth. Right. Now, the reason why I work out so much, yes. one, is because I am in the music industry. Yes. The, yeah, look, look the looks <laughs> matter. matter. As <laughs> much as we would love to sit, tell you that it doesn't. It matters. It matters. Your whole self is I'm, new. It's new. We know what it is. And the type of performances that you get, yeah. you need to So much energy. Yeah, my friend. Oh, man. Sweating. Moving at the, talking and moving at the same time is difficult. And if you mm. do it for an extended period of time, 
I've noticed with artists that we work with, that was one of the places that they were most surprised. They're like, damn, like, mm -hmm. when we finally said, hey, we want you to move, like, mm -hmm. in your performance. <laughs> they started doing that. They're like, yeah, I'm out of breath. Like, <laughs> they always want the chair. They want to sit down. I'm like, is this... You know, when thinking about longevity in the game, no. you need to be able to have a really dope stage show. Yeah. Which you yeah. do. You yeah. do. Yeah. 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 I mean, also, another point that I find is that with fitness and moving your body, you get outside of your mind. Yes. Because mm -hmm. you then tap into your body yeah. to then tap into other areas of your art mm -hmm. that you weren't. Some of my were blocked. best songs. Yes. Yep. Yeah. My brain, I'm not thinking about nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I have an instrumental in my mm -hmm. head. I'm either on the treadmill running or I'm under the bench and it just flows. Yep. Yeah. Literally, you because you're working out, you have your blood flow is increasing, right? So yep. your yep. your central yes. nervous system yes. is just going. Dude, the amount of hits, mind. yeah, the amount of hit, the amount of my personal hits to me yeah. that mm -hmm. have come just from being in the gym. Mm -hmm. I promise you, it'll it helps me. I hope it helps you. Not mm -hmm. just for the fit, not just for like the look, but it literally helps you for your health. Obviously, increase your heart rate. Uh, libido, I'm not gonna get into it. This isn't the thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't trust you, Dad. Actually, I know. I know. Actually, that's all I'm gonna say. Just look up transmutation. That's the all. Gym. <laughs> the gym is literally my house. Yeah, it, I, I, I notice. I five notice. Five to six, sorry, six to seven days a week. Even I sometimes I go to just stretch. Mm -hmm. Being in that environment where I know that I'm doing something to better myself mentally and physically. Mm -hmm. Where I sometimes I go and I just stretch mm -hmm. for literally an hour. Like yeah, talking yeah, about stretching, yeah, yeah. and I literally just stretch. I get up, I go. Right, the fact that you got up, you went, and you did something to better yourself. Yeah, instantly yeah. you feel better. Yeah, yeah. True. yeah. instantly you feel better. Showing up oh, for yeah. yourself. Um, one of the things that I like a quote that I heard once. I used to have it on my wall, and it really used to help motivate me, especially when I was hard at the gym, which I need to get back in it. But um, was that the key to self mastery is discipline, mm. and yeah. then. When you master yourself, you love like you become happier with yourself. Yeah, you yeah. you naturally love yourself more mm -hmm. because you have mastered self. These you're doing all the things you want to do. You're fulfilling. You're living with integrity, and discipline is where it all starts. Yeah. That's what I. That's what I really want to drive home. Yep. That in order to master yourself and become happy and love yourself. You have to give yourself some discipline. Like, yeah. give yeah. yourself those rituals. Self discipline, because no one's going to do it for you. They're no, not. Yeah. Put yourself first. Yeah. Put yourself first. And, and if you put yourself in the place mm -hmm. where people are telling, like, disciplining you, you're mm -hmm. not going to be happy there. No. Like, people telling you what to do will eventually. 100%, wear, because wear you won't be happy with yourself while yeah. they're in their bed. <laughs> But you have multiple choices yeah. to make everybody else happy, or you have one choice to make yourself happy. Mm. Mm. So, as a past personal, well, still personal trainer, yeah. technically speaking, a lot of people used to come up to be like, I don't have the motivation. I'm like, this has nothing to do with motivation. Mm. Whether I'm motivated, please believe there are days where I want to stay in my. <laughs> Yes. Mm. There's, a lot, there's a lot of those days. Help me. It's, it's, it's discipline. Mm -hmm. Whether I want to go, whether I don't want to go, yeah. I am going. Mm -hmm. I wake, literally, this is my morning. Yes. My bathroom. Do morning. Uh huh. Brush my teeth, mm -hmm. shoes on, pants on, small contemplation. I'm in my car already. I'm already gone. Yeah. Yeah. I get there. I don't want to do this. And here's the comparison. Still do it. But once yeah. you're there, you're like, okay, I'm here. I'm there. Yeah. My guess. Yeah. Seriously, yeah. how do you wake up to go to work? How do they get you out of bed for hey, work? Hey, yo, bills. <laughs> but you will. Yeah. But you mean, yeah. but you, you, you won't get in. <laughs> <laughs> so you, know, you know I've been working for free for a long time. You said a bill. I was like. You said, this is not about an interview. You know what I'm saying? You do it. <laughs> Ooh, that <laughs> final bill's high. Okay, besides the bills, though. Oh, no. Sometimes the job not, it's not, doesn't feel worth it. Yeah. yeah right? It's yeah. that. It doesn't feel worth it. How do you, why do you go? It's because you need to go. Yeah. yeah. And that's how you should see the gym. I need to yeah. go. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. To better myself. That should be a need for you. It doesn't yeah. have to be the and gym. Go for a minutes. run. Yes, yeah. true. Go for a stretch. Uh, Just get there. I would say something. to the gym. Yeah. Swap there. Literally. Dress up. Don't even yeah. do nothing. You did so much more oh, yeah. than you would have not have done it's sitting here. Yeah. Sometimes I just go, like, what started to help me get back to the gym? Like, mm -hmm. I recently started to go at least, like, three, four times a week. 
one, I like started to do the activities that I like to do at the gym the most, which mm-hmm. is I love to do yoga. Like I love when someone else teaches me how to do yoga. Hey. Like, and I don't have to do it myself. Yeah. And then I really love walking or running, right? Uh, so uh, I would just go on the treadmill. I put it to the highest incline. Hey. And then hey. I just put on like my favorite whatever music podcast. These days, it's like I will even do my work. Like mm-hmm. I'll do my emails mm-hmm. like, and I'll just keep walking for like I put it to 30 minutes. And then that's all I do, and I'm yeah, and maybe literally. I stretch, and I'm like, but you went. That's girl. more yeah, than you. But yeah, but the, I think the minimum for yeah. anybody is yeah. is to circulate above the oxidative body, that's it. right? Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. Um, even if you're, you know, you're 25, 30, mm-hmm. you can have broken kneecap, oh, and absolutely. the recovery afterward dependent on how healthy you were beforehand. You exactly. Know, sort of so you should naturally, as a human being, just be naturally conscious of what you're eating, mm-hmm. the exercise regimen, and so forth, right? I definitely agree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's not talk about nutrition now. <laughs> that's a different That's a different beast. Because <laughs> food also <laughs> definitely impacts yeah. your mental health. Hey! Um, yeah. And a lot of people, me included, did not recognize how much I love candy. Like Yeah. <laughs> oh, Henry's. Candy. You too? Peanut butter cups. <laughs> no, no. I just can't. Like, especially like Don't sour candies. Like, oh my God. But <laughs> you're they, sour they candy. feel horrible. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. when I, after I eat them, sometimes I eat it late at night. Like, I get Drink like, water. Make stuff. you feel better psychologically. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I do. Balance it out. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Basically, like, food matters. It <laughs> definitely <laughs> does. <laughs> and it's human. Listen. <laughs> That bag of Skittles I know, isn't being diluted by water. It's not <laughs> We're trying to help, but that bag of Skittles is in your system. Yeah. Yeah. Skittles, chocolate covered almonds, Pringles, can't, you can't Run. eat this one. You lose can't. it. You can't. Yo. That's why you buy a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Gonna... Have your cheat day, have your cheat yeah. day. I promise you, even myself, you, you're not going to be perfect. Everybody falls once in a while. Mm-hmm. I my, me Skittles, yo dog. <laughs> Skittles are good. Really <laughs> you, like, you have something in your beard. You're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. The rainbow <laughs> is calling. <laughs> the rainbow is just Every all time. the colors. I'm like, I don't even care. Bring them, bro. <laughs> is that how you write songs? Like, today I think. Yo, a good talk, bro. You don't understand. But I eat Skittles like once a month. Mm-hmm. I have a goal right now, but I'm going to, I'm going to, do my thing, but nutrition is key. I'm not even going to start yelling at y'all. Yeah. About what y'all eating. <laughs> yeah. Go and so. follow these people. Actually, you know, this is a great time for us to, you know, kind of plug, 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 plug what we're doing, all the organizations mm-hmm. that are helping us do this and the people that we have at our crib today. I'd love for you to let them know, Dolo, where can they find you? What do you have coming up next? You know? Yeah. What do you have coming yeah, up next? Yeah, tell us what you have coming up next and then how to find them. Okay. Yeah. So... It's been five years since I started um, doing music. The very first time I performed at Afro Fest, I told myself one day I will be on the big stage. They have two stages. They have the small one and they, they have the big one. I am headlining Afro Fest on the big stage. Let's go! Which that's big. You just gotta stick to it. Yeah. Every year, they gave me the small stage. They gave me the three a three p.m. slot, two p.m. slot. Four. You I take the opportunity and you run with it. You do it the best you can, and eventually, you, I man. promise you, things will come your way. They will. And then the goals that I've set myself way back when, I didn't give myself two years, three years. I didn't care. I said as long as it must. I will get to a certain yeah. place and that they're coming. At, mwah. I believe it's going to be between July 7th and 9th. I'll That's give you guys right. a day later. Mm-hmm. That is going to, I got a, the live band, which thank you, mm-hmm. Rise. I'm you got a whole live band? Hey, hey, hey. Energy is going to be malad. Malad. <laughs> uh, follow me at D O L O T H E G I F T D, Dolo the Gifted, on everything, everything. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, oh, wow. You got one more show coming up. What was, what was oh, yeah. what? Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> but I'm the editor. But I'm about to unbox it. But I'm the editor. I'm the editor. El 16 de... El 16... Lo siento. El 16 de junio. That means sorry. Sí. Todos los mundos. I was like... I was like... It was like I knew. Un poquito habla español. Hey. Tenemos un show increíble con Afrowave. Tenemos el Blessed... 
que vas a estar aquí en History, el 17 de junio. Please, ladies and gentlemen, the 17th of June. I will be hosting Afro Wave, the festival for the year 2023. I performed at it last year. This year, I'm going to host with the one and only Lexicon. I know Alistair's going to be there. I know you're going to be there. You better be there. Yeah, I'm coming. It's going to be insane. I'm a fan. And insane. Let's get it. Lo siento, pero en español... Necesito de practicar un poquito más wow. para que vamos a estar Fully listos. Bend over. Wow. Vamos a estar listos. La energía va a ser mal, loca, vamos. I still yeah. in your only language. Yeah. No, no, no. I can't no. even top that. I feel like I speak Spanish. Francés, falo portugués, but that's for another story because I'm going to come back. You are yes, back. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes, yes. yes. I need you back. And you. actually, we have like some, well, Dennis, you mm. let them know what he's oh, coming up. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's not like that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Nice. I should have a script. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> do I make up stuff? Do you go fact check? <laughs> um, no, I, 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 um, I'm doing a short next month. Um, okay, short yes. Um, That's a big one, my boy. Like, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I'm giving you flowers. I'm oh. give, I got a, a one lighter in Star Trek. Strange yes, people. I did see that. Yeah, next, what? Next Star Tuesday. Trek? It comes out uh, yep. next month. So I was in the scene with uh, Captain Kirk. And, uh, Yo, are Kirk. you going to be like, dog, like is gonna be, are you an alien are or something? No, I'm not an alien, oh, no, no. But I'm a chess player, you know. But, uh, Yo. In space? space. No, no, not in space. But I want to tell you the storyline. Okay, okay, oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. feel like, you know, I'm in Hollywood. I can't tell you the story. I know. Hey, you you got to wait before I get sued. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But y'all don't know one liner in a it's feature huge. film? It's yeah, it's huge. big. You guys have yeah. no idea how yeah. 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 major Because nah, 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 just nah, the one liner. It, uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. They, what they said was, because I didn't know. I know. I knew the dynamic was difficult, but mm-hmm. it's like they have to go through so many people yeah, to get before to they say it's okay. And yeah. we're talking yeah. thousands, and then, not hundreds. And, yeah. then, and then, you know, the, the, the first initial audition is probably 150 people, 200 right. people, and then they break the blah, 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 and then final two or three. That's and then I don't even know, you're just on the bus or whatever. Like, oh, I thought, you know, can you forget about it because it's oh, yeah. so long, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Um, but it's, the transition is like, for me, it was like background because I was so doo So I wanted to be in, in the atmosphere of other actors. And then I did commercials. I was, wasn't getting good commercials. And then I got saw you so many commercials. Yeah, now I got <laughs> now I'm killing the so commercials. Many. and Let's killing, killing that. Now I'm doing shorts. I got a couple of TV series beforehand. Mm-hmm. So now it's a feature film um, and stuff like that. But it wasn't good. Um, got uh, EVN Studios. Uh, yeah, I went. That's where I go. Earl that's down there. Uh, um, that's I'm there right now with him. I went there a year and a half straight. Yeah. And, it, it just fixed me up from top to bottom. Yeah, because mm. he's cha- he challenged. Oh my gosh! Like, One time we got an argument. I'm like, I know, I, what am I, I doing this for? I don't even like you. No, know I don't think. I know, and I'm. And like, then like, you I'm back not next season. Yeah. Like, but then I'm like, damn. Oh man, he's so great. good. Yeah, he's so good. Yeah, yeah. You're not listening. No, it's true. It's what he says. I'm like in my head, I'm like, so I don't know what you want me to do. In I'm, my head, you know what I'm saying? I know. I'm, 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 I know. I'm just sitting there. I'm like, oh my god. I yeah, know. yeah. The monologue. He trains you top to bottom. Monologues. You know, scene study. Yeah, so good. I gotta do this class. EVN yeah, EVN Studios. EVN Studios. Yeah, EVN Studios. Yeah. Say We're gonna hashtag him on this for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. honestly. Um, and and that's what it is. So now I'm in one liners, one liners, and now the movie auditions are. Oh, yeah. nice. So I'm getting flavor yeah. all the time. The movie. You know, about keeps, um Titans. You know, You're on, that's one of my favorite. Yeah, you know what? Uh, so um. Um, if you saw my man cave, it's like Hulk action figures yes. and posters. Yes, very it's into. Like, yeah, I'm very into it. So when I booked, it, I was like. <gasps> I wasn't stoked. Like I met Don Cheadle, this, that, that, that. But I wasn't stoked to see anybody wow. except for you know, uh, super. Um, I mean, um, uh, Martian. Uh, not Martian. What's the, the, the green guy? Oh, um, Beast, Beast, Beast Boy. Boy. I'm all excited now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and and so just... I was across the scene from them, and I had to see my one liner. I was like this. Just remember, like I, I'm good <laughs> on. I don't mess my lines up, but I'm good on set. But I was like, it was just a one liner. I got to pace myself. They said, yeah. like, and then. Ah. <laughs> But I was and I was in the whole intent when I was like this, like looking at them. I was like, it was stoked because it was um it was DC and I yeah. feel like I'm in the DC world now. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna talk about this on another show, but Marvel or DC, real quick. Oh, shoot. You know why it's equal? You could say Marvel because they have a lot, but yeah. DC Detective Comics, everybody grew up on that. Mm. And and Batman and mm-hmm. Superman was so impactful was. at such a young first, age, like, you know. Um that it just resonates with everybody, right? Mm-hmm. And if Batman will put out a movie, Batman movies are always good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, on, 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 on. Uh, but Marvel, um, it's, it's, it's neck and neck, 
but I'm, I'm I'm more involved. I'm more in tune with DC. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's limited, but yeah. you know, sort of thing. Let but, us know at home, DC or Marvel. DC or Marvel. Like, yeah, a, that's a big thing when you go to Comic Con. Yo, you know so <laughs> I, I'm gonna put it out in the universe. Yes, what's your uh, listen? Mm-hmm. Wakanda forever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I did. I just <laughs> instinctive. You know what I'm saying? Marvel, Marvel, look. <laughs> First of all, he put on the glasses. He knew he was coming. He wanted he wanted, an, he wanted an entrance. Okay. <laughs> this is this is a serum. Please, Marvel. Yes. You want a real African to play. I know. Yeah, no. Actually, yeah. You want a real African to play. Tell them, my brother. This is my real beard. Mm. You want your real... <laughs> African. You don't Audition. have to stick it on. You don't need a prosthetic. Hashtag Marvel. You want a real African to play. The one, the only. King T'Challa. Jeez. Oh. I am your man. I thought you were going to be a sidekick. Oh, 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 you went. Oh, you went. Oh, <laughs> I had to plug that in there. I had to plug that in there. Thank you very much. Okay. I have a, I have a game for us. Oh. I it's love game. Do we win anything? Um, yeah. All well, right. We, actually, we have two games. Yeah, we, we have two play, games. We should play right. both games. All right. Okay. Um, the, let's play the, the red flag, green flag. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no. Yes. I haven't heard this before. Oh, yes. It sounds so, like. I gotta watch my mouth. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, red flag, green flag. This is about like things that can happen to you being a creative in your industry. And is this a red flag to you or a green flag is really what you have to answer. It's a trend on social media. Okay. We are trying that. to okay. be a little bit trendy. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's so. go. I like that versus the, you know, mm. the tide or the... Yes, exactly. We're not going to make you safe. be tied yeah. mods. Yeah. <laughs> safe. Or do a plank on like a ladder. <laughs> oh no, the maybe crate, the crate like, challenge was the work. Like, did you the crate yeah, challenge? Like, yeah. when people, people die doing. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, oh yeah, like, do stacking. Yeah. Was that? I mean, like, even if you fall and I get a black eye, what happened? I stand in crates like <laughs> you, you lose her. You know what I'm saying? We even a fight with this guy. No, stand in crates. You know, I digress. So <laughs> I got 17 followers from almost dying. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. <And> <laughs> it's true, eh? Worth it. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's up? Which flag okay. are we going to get? So um, here we go. Here's the scenarios. You let me know. Red flag or green, green flag. flag. Okay. You show up to your audition or the studio, whichever one, because we're all actors and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. musicians, so it all works we're out. There's a space for um, yeah, so you show up and the producer is already a little lit. Now, in the music studio, that might be okay. Yeah. Is it like when you get on, you know, set, if the producer or the director, in mm-hmm. this case, is lit and you could tell, is this a red flag or a green mm-hmm. flag? I would say it's a red okay. flag. Okay, big red flag. Yeah. Big Have you flag. ever worked with a person? Has done that? Yeah. yeah. I can't say I have. I wouldn't notice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if I did notice, then it would, it would automatically be a red flag for me. Yeah. And yeah. I would sort of keep my distance. So if this is my scene partner, right. be, it, it, it would take me off my game a little bit because I'd be mindful. Yeah. Sort of, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I'd be looking and, it's you know, that, are they going to say the lines right? <laughs> yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And so on and so on. So, um, and, and so I don't know if I'm qualified to say this. Some people um, can smoke marijuana. And be okay. They can. They some can. people can't. And, and the nuance of it is all the the mixtures of the THC level. True. Could be you know grand, right? So uh, you got to be mindful of you know um, who you're rolling with when you're smoking. True. You know, who you're mm. driving with. Who you're associating with. Oh, so we're talking about just like it. drinking. Yeah. Uh, is there a yellow flag? <laughs> <laughs> well, explain why. Yeah. 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 I don't know because what makes it red. What makes it green? Because yeah. not. Uh, I am lucky to find somebody in the music industry that doesn't do substance. Yes. Mm. I'm very lucky if I find so either they, they do it in the morning or at night or in the middle or whatnot. Mm. Very rarely somebody in the music industry doesn't do one or the other or drinks or whatever it is. So I've worked with people who are very good, who literally their juices flow better when they're under the right. mm. the substance, right? And some, no. So I would... So the drunken personally, master. I don't care. It's like a drunken master. I don't yeah. care. Five deadly venoms when he's drunk. As long as you can do the job right, I don't care. So for me, it's green, I guess. I have to. Okay. Yeah, it's green. Mm-hmm. It's on the sense. Gotcha. All right. So how about you book a major show, mm. 
but then there's no sound check or there's red, no, there's red, no red, 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 the red, 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 super blood red, 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 red flag, <laughs> like super, like <laughs> supernova, dude. yeah, the hottest red, sun red, 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 red flag, red, super red, red, red. red. yes, <laughs> yes. So then you start yes. acting unprofessional. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to walk by and have a walk. Go through super seeing God, red. Oh my God, that's a super red flag. Or there's no like call time. No, it has to be professional. That's worse. It's a major worse. show, though. Maroon. Yeah. Major yeah. show. Maroon. All that's five a, of them. That's a red flag. Red, that's find. lava red right Jesus. there. Okay. Right. So a major artist. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's a major artist. You got a mm-hmm. scene with, you know, mm-hmm. say David Beckham. Mm-hmm. Is he a artist? So his wife player. knows the name. It's everything now. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why David Beckham? David Beckham. He hasn't played tennis forever. David Beckham, a soccer player from... Early 2000s. I don't know if he's ever acted he, in any. Wait, but I'm. No, I'm he thinking, hasn't. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of Brad Pitt. I oh, I, okay. I think okay. I, I saw Brad Pitt. Kind of and I was like, I was, David yeah, Beckham. I was thinking. Castle him. I'm thinking <laughs> Boris Castle Becker. Castle him. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Boris Becker, the tennis player. But yeah. Yeah, <laughs> soccer player. Okay, Brad Pitt. <laughs> Brad Pitt. But yeah, or, you know, or you book a show under, let's say, on a Drake. Or, Got it. Yeah. Right? They're major shows, um, but it comes with no pay. Oh, you do it anyways. Oh, do yeah, it. green flag. Kind of talk about no, it's a green, it, flag. Yeah. It's a green flag, hundred yeah. percent. Yes, yeah. green it's flag. a major artist. Major like, artist, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, yeah. yeah, because yeah. I would generally do something free. I'm doing this free. Am I doing free? Okay. Um, anyway, it's free. So, so I just play. I play. I play. People at home with their, you know, their with their bank account set up correctly. Oh, they should be thinking me. right now. <laughs> we probably will have Igor. You know, the brains in the back. Our producer, shout out to you, Igor, is going to set something up for us to make sure that you can contribute mm. to this to make sure. That Absolutely. our guests can walk away. <laughs> Their questions hey. answered. Yes. You did have a nice craft table. Very impressive. Yes. Professional all the way through. Yes, you did. Let, let Don't step on the cords. Professional. <laughs> yeah. You're a lot. Not sure. You know. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody <laughs> saying no to Drake. It doesn't matter. You know what? He'd probably be like, yo, I'll give you $10. I'll probably pay him $10. <laughs> Yeah. His street table must be like lobster. You know, I'm exactly. going. I'm going. Exactly. It's, it's exposure. The, you're, the opportunity. You're I, I shot a music video mm-hmm. with Drake once, and that was like, right? Yeah, it was a while back. But and you know what? Um, I have to say this since we're we're kind of on TV or whatever we're on right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna spill some tea right now. Oh. <laughs> so when I went to school, um, I went to a uh, University of Windsor. And we have this really lit event every year called Windsor Sports Weekend. We just bring down yeah, like 2,000 yeah, people like crazy, right? Yeah. So way back when, when I went there, Drake actually wanted to perform in our show. This is like before he was like cha- champagne poppy, like, mm. and nobody in the city was really like messing with him like that. Him and Future the Prince used to like run parties down in Windsor sometimes, like, and people just weren't, they weren't feeling him yet, right? And I'm sure you both understand that, being emerging artists, how mm-hmm. that feels. And he actually wanted to pay to be in Sports Weekend because, see, and that's why I'm saying this not to, like, shame Drake. I'm saying this because mm-hmm. Drake now is probably the biggest. Not probably. probably. He is. He's the biggest <laughs> he is. superstar he is. that anybody knows he in the world. Like, he's he universal. He's he undeniable. Yep. And this man, he came down at that time, he was probably a boy. He was still Jimmy. Right? <laughs> he was still like a grass. Aubrey. Aubrey. And people were calling him out his name. They wouldn't call him Drake. They're like, yo, Aubrey, move. He wanted to pay to be in our show because of the exposure at yeah. that time. This is like- Good story. The internet. Yeah. I'm glad you shared yeah. yeah. So you said no to Drake? And, I am mad. Yeah, they did. They did say, I, and I wasn't, I thought he was good. I was like, no. Drake, I said, I wanted Drake. I was just like, why would it, like someone wants to pay, we needed money. But this is how, and that's, it's just so interesting because that's how some people really shoot themselves in the foot yeah. with opportunities. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, had Drake taken that, maybe he wouldn't have been as big. Maybe yeah. that would have actually plummeted him or yeah. something like yeah. But just saying, take but, those opportunities. Yeah, his I passion really is, is hunger. Like, yeah, yeah, he's I'm, so I'm hungry. Sure that, yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, shout out to Drake. Like, he's a real one. Oh, yeah. Last one, guys. Okay. Mm-hmm. You get a sync opportunity, mm-hmm. but it's... In adult entertainment. Oh, so green, oh, green, green, green. What? That's Sink? Cool. You are on that five K, fam. I don't know. My, 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 his job is different. So, <laughs> so I say this, right? You know, 
I might not be that good. <laughs> I might need some time, some auditioning. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, yeah. yeah you Yo! Know. <laughs> he did not. Nah, bro. Nah. Nah. Yeah. The way you're method acting. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> With the method acting, this guy said, remember his job. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, that's you why know, your face I loved like it that. because I both. You were, you were like, yes. I'm like, sick. Get me that money. Get me that. You were like, Play my tracks, fam. Oh. While they run, let them have their fun. Oh. What? And then you're like, remember his job. And I'm like, oh, okay. Are actually just in like closing this all up? Mm. Are there any like red flags for like I'm not gonna put my art in that space? Like, yeah, anytime it's unprofessional. Unprofessional. Hundred percent. Because when you're dealing with uh, a level of professionalism, mm-hmm. everybody's invested. Right. You know what I'm saying? If um, everybody's investing here. I can see that. Mm-hmm. If this level of professional wasn't here, then uh, the camera person might not do the job. And the end result mm-hmm. is um, post-production sucks. You yeah. know what I mean? It doesn't matter of what your ability is. Yeah. It's still a poor performance um, overall, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the coloring, um, the, the interview questions, mm-hmm. the energy. Yeah, shout um, out to our team. Yeah, on and on. yeah. so you guys like, can't see it, but shout out to the team for real, real talk. Um, yeah. They were um, all running around, just doing their own Literally. thing, setting things up, boom, yeah. boom, 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 for the hey. past hour and a half, and here it is, sort of thing. Yeah. So yeah. professionalism, regardless if you get paid or not, it has to be at par. Yeah. No. Well, you? what's your uh, number God. one red flag? I'm not doing it. Yo, dog. I don't care how much money. As long as... He's like, I don't know. Because honestly, that. like, as long as it doesn't have anything to do against kids... Mm. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like my moral, like I'm all about the kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, shout out to Akav. Um, Akav, aka V. We're actually gonna go to Congo this year for about ten days. We're gonna Ooh. go Wakanda? give some. Oh yeah, we're the real one. Yeah. We're gonna go to. We're gonna go there. We're gonna give some uh, some desks for the kids. Wow. We're raising money for that. I've always wanted to be a part of an NGO. So mm. uh, Akav is gonna do a big thing. So I'm very happy mm. about that. Honestly, that's for me. As long as we're not hurting nobody. Yeah. As long as me performing is mm-hmm. not for Satan or anything mm-hmm. like that, right. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'll, I'll work my way around it. The professionalism, we're going to find it in bits and pieces here and there. At least yeah. I know my industry, but hopefully not. Mm-hmm. That's me. Mm-hmm. I hear you. Yeah. Oh, yes. Well, mm-hmm. we've got some, 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 some activity for you. Okay. Um, since we're on the topic of mental health. Yes. Mas, Let's get it. Um, L. Yeah. So we're actually going to do something really cool. Um, this is something we do on our crib. We're able to walk around and bring you to other spaces that are in the crib. So mm-hmm, we're mm-hmm. actually going to, um, yeah, we're going to get our whole crew. We're going to start walking over to our activity space. Oh. You can expect every week that we'll do something cool. This time, I I'm going to surprise everybody. Um, get my my Ladies first. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Oh. When we get over here, then we'll figure it out. You let's know, go. What's happening? Hey. <laughs> so we're getting to, we're dancing. We're dancing. Oh, I don't know how to oh. emphasize. No, I'm oh. doing oh. it. Okay, oh. okay, 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 okay. I'm with it. <laughs> we're actually going to get really calm right now. I can't actually do this. Oh, I can't easy. Either. You can also, easy. okay, find a comfortable yeah. position. Even this one okay. is good. Comfortable okay. position. Okay. Yeah, you got there this. There you go. <laughs> yeah, even that. Honestly, this you you could do you could be real comfy right now. Okay. okay. Um and so this is comfy. Okay. what we're going to be doing is um some people do not know, some people do. Uh before the pandemic, I was mm. like and even a little bit before that, I uh taught yoga and meditation. Mm. Um that is a huge for me something that ha- really helps me with my mental health to maintain it, um to be able to stay composed um, and I'm able to use or transmute those techniques. I know like a bell or something. And we need different definitions that we use it for. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we broke it into like definitions. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, yeah, so meditation has been that for me. Uh, we're not going to do yoga today. So this is about as much yoga as we're going to do. This is actually called easy pose, if you can cross your legs. I can. If you cannot, this is staff pose. So you're still in a pose. This is easy. Yeah, this is staff. Um, If Depending on the yoga you follow, that was half the... But yeah, so we're going to get into a pose that's easy for us. Mm -hmm. Um, And then we are going to go through a guided meditation that I actually 
recorded. I want to shout out to Dusani, who's um, Dusani. our engineer, and he's a really dope producer. And we've been talking about doing this for a really long time, which is basically taking my words, putting them on to beats, um, and then putting them as guided meditation. So, what you know, eventually I will put them online. Today, we're getting our first sneak peek at that. Um, and this is a meditation to help us with, because we are all creatives, because we've been speaking about mental health, maybe we've stirred up some things today. Mm. We don't know. Like, and if you don't have like, you know, a proper outlet or channel, mm -hmm. um, and for the people at home, maybe listening to us has now stirred some things up for you that you're just like, oh my God, I'm thinking about my ex-boyfriend or mm -hmm. my mom mm -hmm. or something even more deep, right? Ex like being- yeah, right? So, or, or ex-girlfriend, you know? Or ex-ex. Ex-ex. Ex ah. Maybe you have some drama. Thank you. <laughs> so, all of those so things. <laughs> she is. <laughs> That's why we need to hold the Medi. Um, and in order to hold this meditation today, uh, another thing that I have done is layered the beat that we're listening to. It's I wanted to use music that's more you know, in our genre, things that we like mm -hmm. to listen to, inspired by Dolo as well. Um, some hip hop and R&B mm -hmm. and some like, you know, a little bit of Afro beats you're gonna hear in there too, hey. um, throughout the instrumental. And then you'll hear my words telling you what to do. We're just gonna sit here. Okay. All we have to do, you can close your eyes if you want to. Yeah. I probably will tell you to do that at some point. Mm -hmm. um, oh, but yeah. oh. before we do that, mm -hmm. we do have an activity. Because uh -huh. one thing that I like to do is I love incense while, you know, uh, while you're having meditation because aromatherapy is another thing that can really help you to unlock or transmute your feelings to a different Aye. Um And so you will all let me know after if it helps you at all, you know. Oh, I got plenty of incense it. at the crib. Do you do, anybody here has done meditation? Yes. Before? Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, I'm super silly, but I like, I eat this. Can you <laughs> nah. I go from like, do -do 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 to like real like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. see like so many sides of us too, because mm -hmm. you know, we were up and now we're gonna get down. Yeah. Um, and, in doing that, what I forgot though is actually incense holders to be. And I know you can stick them in all different places, but this is a very nice crib, so we don't want to mess it up like that. So we we want we incense back. holders, right? So I got these amazing, like yes, right, like all the different colors wow. of Play-Doh, um, and this will help us to create our own incense holders. So wow. all we have to do, I know my friend actually like shout out to my friends at home who might be watching. Um, they had this like cool incense holder and someone just made it out of clay. Mm. And then it was a, it was a peace sign actually that they made. And then they were able to, then here was like where you stuck the incense. So you can make whatever you want, a heart, like whatever shape, you know, you're feeling, choose whatever Ladies. color. Um, I'd love to get some of our friends, um, our creative that. consultants. Yeah, anybody want to join us from our crew? Yes. <laughs> They're looking around. Yeah, I'm like, Mo, what? Joe, Shy. <laughs> they don't like us, eh? As soon as the cameras fucking roll. <laughs> oh, ah! Ah! That's the sec that's the second one. That's the second one, by the way. That's the second one. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Really good today, though. I have been. I think we did amazing. You did actually good. I'm proud of you. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. Um, what shape am I gonna make? Yeah. Incense holder, something that oh, green, holds the incense green quite like well. The yes, exactly. Oh, so you just make uh, any kind of like. So it would, I would need shape. a lot. The so one I would like to do would need, I would need a lot. Okay, so let's do this. Okay. Why is it on like opening colors color? lately? I got a little. Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> Anybody want some of these? There you go. Yeah. Yeah? Hit the gym. <laughs> ah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, you you can't mix Play-Doh up, my so friend. Memorable. Yo, is this so nostalgic? I haven't played with Play-Doh since like... Thank you. Yeah, the smell, right? I know. And no, I did, I, I, I did, but... Used to, <laughs> what? I did, I used to like, eat Play-Doh. Oh my yeah. God. Oh, I, I was know. one of those kids. Because I thought it smells... It so I'm, deep. I'm a very big smell person, so if something smells good, I think that it should translate into good. eating exactly. it. Exactly. Like, yeah, like, like, <laughs> I'm a child. Like inside, I'm a child. And actually, this keeps me young. Time. Like playing, doing these kind of things. Play yeah. is a big thing that I think we let go of as adults, but that should stay in our lives forever. Absolutely. Which is, I think, why I love being a performer. And Lego. And Lego. Like all of it. All of it. Okay. 
I like what you're doing I, over there, Alistair. I watch a lot of Ooh. anime. I yeah. I what kind of anime? What's um, your favorite? What's yeah. the a lot of anime. Ninja Scroll was my favorite. Nin Ninja Scroll. My god! Yo, no. come on! Yeah, People don't y'all don't, don't know about Ninja, Ninja, Ninja Scroll! Scroll. It's a classic. Trust me, it's a classic. I don't know that. Extremely know violent. Be, 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 in Insane. Way. What kind of enemies do you like enjoy watching? Right now, uh One Piece, <laughs> Demon Slayer. Mm. Yeah. It's just honestly, I have I I I'm the type of person that goes to the movies by myself solo. Yeah. yeah. Literally every Sunday when I can, I literally yeah I have friends and I can go with them, but I prefer to have my alone time. Mm -hmm. By the way, I have no problem being being by myself. Mm -hmm. A lot of people can't just stick around yeah. with themselves and their thoughts because a lot of darkness comes out. Yeah. I have exactly. no problem yeah. whatsoever being solo dolo. Solo. How did your name come about? Actually. So. I never asked you that before. Initially, okay. it was just what Dolo. Doing? What are you guys doing? I'm just doing this. I don't really... Anyway, I like what you were doing. Yeah, yeah. Initially, my name was just Dolo, mm -hmm. D-O-L-O, -O, but that means uh, alone. It does, like, yes, Dolo means yeah. alone. But I'm very blessed to have a family and friends that support me. So I figured I can't disrespect them like that, ah, right? I can't disrespect my family and friends like that. So I added the gifted because my family is a gift. My friends are a gift that God has given me because they truly support me in everything I do. Yeah. So therefore, I added the gifted because that's a part of why I'm able to keep doing this today because they come to my shows, they support me. They do come to your shows. Yes, they, yeah, they, they do, really do, right? I From Ottawa. You guys don't understand. Yeah? Oh you guys don't God. understand. My mom drives four and a half hours to come watch her son perform Holy multiple God. times. That's a fan. Bro. Right there. The gifted. Mm -hmm. The gifted comes from me having the gift of family that supports me. And the second part of the name is the languages. That's really what it is. Not a competition, guys. So <laughs> what are you doing? I know. I got you inspired. Always nothing. So what are you doing? Mate. I saw. I think <laughs> it's like done. But like, I, I got I made inspired. Me, I made me with a mullet. It's a, it's a pink mullet. It looks like more of a ponytail. But that is me. My guy. And but it's my, my next kind of breaking. I'm, I'm not sure it. if you can zoom in on that. Yeah. My next kind of breaking because the hair is too thick. <laughs> but you know I'm at inner peace. You can see I'm like. Yep. Zen. I'm done. I, I got a like I got a nice little vase. Yep. I got I a love nice it. little vase. Sure. Mine is a rose. I want to shout out to uh, Toby, uh, mm -hmm. one of amazing artists outside from the GTA, um, and. He had he brought back like he did a throwback the other yes, day. Yes, he did. Right, and one of the lines is like, "Look, Nigeria, how shout out Nigeria." Look how we have grown. Hey, and I, yeah. And Toby's from um, Nigeria. Yes, yes, but he's from Rise. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Toby's of from course. Rise. Yeah. He's one of the OGs from Rise Definitely. that made it. Definitely. Yeah, he made it. Like he's on XXL. He's on everything. You want a Juno? Yeah. Rap up with it, yo. Two Junos. Two, no. yeah. Yo, my guy's really? like, yeah. yeah. Really Toby, amazing, and his, the man, the boy can rap. He All can. right, where is that? Where is that? Um, so I have my rose. This is gonna be where I put oh, my beautiful. incense, and then it will fall into there. Nice. Yeah, let me see if yeah. I can lift that up for the folks at home. Look how we That's have rose. Beautiful. Oh, hey. Let's water it. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna water it with incense. Do not <laughs> water your play-doh, please. And then now you can choose whatever incense you like. This is like one of my favorite Nag Champa. I do want to show this because I want, them, I want them to sponsor me. Common sense. <laughs> like I use this so much. Um, so yeah, get it. Um, also, exactly. I want to shout it. out House of Moses, who always hooks me up in Kensington Ooh. Market with incense. And he makes Ooh. these. Okay. Yeah, this one's self-love. House of Moses, guys. Yes. Mm. Um, right down on Kensington. Big yellow building. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So choose any. Wait, you don't need my scent, right? So what are these scents? Yes. I get this now. They don't all smell the same. Not every incense is the same. These are, you know. Ooh, this, one, this is mine. Yeah, this is lemongrass and sandalwood, I think. Ooh. Let me see that. You might want to eat this. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I do want to eat it. Test. I love lemons. It's like one of my favorite things. Okay, I'm going to Yeah. Mine okay. works. Yep, see? The boom. It went right through my, Actually, my third eye. Actually, yeah. <laughs> my third eye. Okay. Uh, Allison, now. you forgot the point is so that it will not drip <laughs> around. But wait, wait, he said, wait. Oh, you like, <laughs> <laughs> oh. You just need like right. another wait. little. 
It'll do. And also, we'll have to put this on the carpet because we definitely. I'm sorry, not off the carpet. I was gonna say. Yes. <laughs> if we edit that off the carpet, so that it doesn't. You know, there we go. Should we get like a paper? Yeah, and the lighter? Paper. Friends from the friends from the end. Yeah. Anybody can assist us with getting something to make sure that the studio stays squeaky clean and clear. Yeah. Level up studios. Level up. Um, and then after we are done our beautiful meditation. Wet wipes. Boom. We will be saying goodbye, but we will have just one more fun little thing for y'all to do for us. Absolutely. Oh, I see. Success, Allison. Yeah, so yeah. stick around after the meditation. And I, I really want everyone at home to be meditating with us right now. So my, like, my, yes. my no need it, trust me. One, right? Yeah, just a little quick hold yeah, of Medi. A quick little inner peace. I do um, recommend even like five minutes of meditation a day, to be honest. Even if you yes. can't do anything else, like just sit with yourself for five minutes. Even the bathroom is an amazing place to, mm. you know, to just be on your own, no distractions. And yeah, so. Oh, wait, lighter. You know what? I usually have a lighter. Lighter on. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody want to listen when I cook in the kitchen because the whipping and the whipping on this. You gotta start gonna spitting fire. While, while they run and get the lighter for us, yeah. I guess we'll find our inner peace. Yes. We're gonna start um, getting ourselves into. These are beautiful, by the way. I think it's great. amazing what we have made here. Which one's yeah. best? Um, I think it's this one. Yeah, sure I was gonna say one at the end. There is this post behind mine, though. It's really close. No, actually. <laughs> Look down the road. But like, I feel like I failed because I did not assign my new Like, this assignment was not filled. I can't believe you two put it together. But I like this, what you did here. You yeah. got like, yeah, that it's, was great. Bro, you went Super Saiyan mode yeah, on that. Super Saiyan that. 3. Yeah, hey, there you go. I was going to say it. Hadouken. <laughs> Let's say every single, like. Oh, um, attack. Yeah. Powerful bro. attack. Black oh, Kami Ali. <laughs> Yo. Come on, I know all of come on. I know all of Big noise to the best host. I know all of the best hosts. Get me a light from my bag. Yes. Some matches. Maybe we'll move those coming? little wipeies. Oh, okay. See okay. the wipes over there, bro? Nah, this is dope. Alistair? This is dope. Oh, right? Is that, is that there's, this there's, song, there's no oh, fire in the studio. Oh, can you get me this? What a, there's one in the bag. Oh. I like that. Shinos. Yeah. It's uncut, so yeah, we're okay yeah, with it. This is not so a mistake. Do, Can you talk to the people? Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's not right now. I don't know why. Yeah. They don't like being on camera. But while they're looking, yeah. actually, then we'll do what the thing I wanted to do after now. Okay. Which is, so you speak four languages. We thought it was three, but it's actually four. Yes. And I heard you do amazing accents. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you, you put it on your bio, so it's, ah. it's your fault. <laughs> oh. So Lovely. all of that to be said, after we're done our meditation, yes, I would love for you both to, in your all of your languages, mm -hmm. please tell us or please say like and subscribe to our crib uncut. Got it. In every language that you know, oh, and God. if you can just do I, one I accent, really, I, I can't do it. I don't, one accent. I only know. Uh, only one. Don't burn okay. yourself. I don't know what accent. Yeah. I'll try. Yes, you can think of. No, 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 it's not ready yet. Light the other one. Here, I got you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, here. Happy birthday. <laughs> this is our birthday, it's actually. It's our birthday. Oh, true. This is the Kuba Cut's birthday. You're looking like, why are you singing it? <laughs> I know, I just made it, but it is our birthday. It is. Oh, happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Me too. Dude. He's just trying to outdo us. He's just trying to outdo us. Okay, he's just... Let you guys know. You just remember. Wow. There we go. It's sensor lit. I see. Let's yep. get it. Now let's get lit. Let's get lit. Okay. Okay. So, okay. everybody at home, this is get yes. Comfortable. Get comfortable. We are gonna listen here, but we have amazing sound that's coming through to you right now. We got this. Let's go. I'm ready. I don't see they're scared. I'm ready. They're I'm ready. Scared. Don't get scared. I promise this is so good for you. Here we go. Eight minutes, and I'll tell you everything what to do. You okay. 
Welcome to this transformative guided meditation experience. I invite you to find a comfortable position, close your eyes, and take a deep breath in, embracing the wisdom of these words meant to guide and inspire you. As you exhale, release any tension or stress you may be carrying and allow the music and the 432 hertz frequency to wash over you, bringing a sense of calm and relaxation. Connect with your breath, knowing that with each inhalation, you invite new possibilities and with each exhalation, you release what no longer serves you. Let's begin with a body scan guided by these words. Start by bringing your attention to your toes. Feel the sensations in each toe as you take a deep breath in. As you exhale, imagine any tension or discomfort melting away. Gradually bring your attention up through your feet, ankles, and calves. With each breath, allow any tightness or heaviness to dissolve, leaving your lower legs feeling light and relaxed. Continue to scan your body, moving up through your knees, thighs, and hips. Take your time to observe any sensations or areas of tension. As you exhale, release any tightness, allowing your body to soften and let go. Shift your attention to your abdomen and lower back. Feel the rise and fall of your breath in this area. With each inhalation, imagine the breath expanding and nourishing your body. As you exhale, feel any stress or tension being released. Now, bring your awareness to your chest and upper back. Notice the gentle movement of your breath in this area. With each inhale, allow your chest to open and expand. As you exhale, feel any tightness or constriction being released. Move your attention to your shoulders, arms, and hands. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, let go of any tension in these areas. Allow your shoulders to relax, your arms to feel light, and your hands to soften. Bringing your focus back to your neck and throat. Notice any sensations or tightness in these areas. With each breath, allow any tension to melt away, creating space and freedom. Now, relax your forehead, soften your eyebrows, and let go of any tension in your eyes, cheeks, and jaw. Allow your entire face to relax and feel at ease. Take a moment to observe your whole body from head to toe. Notice the sense of relaxation and calmness that has permeated your entire being, guided by these insightful words. Now, as we enter a pause for self-breathing work, take a few deep breaths, breathing in slowly through your nose 
and exhaling through your mouth. As you breathe, imagine inhaling positivity, peace, and clarity, and exhaling any stress, negativity, or tension. Continue this pattern of deep, intentional breath for a few more moments, allowing yourself to fully embrace the transformative power of your breath. for greater connection and harmony with yourself, others, and the world around you. Remember, you have the power to nurture your mind, unlock your true person. Namaste. Namaste. Good job. <laughs> so good good job. job. Oh, okay, good. Yo, yeah. like I like the beat too. Okay, hey, I'm hey. Saying, yeah, shout out to um, Dusan because uh, he did a little zhuzh on that. I get in some of that. I heard some of the. Oh, like, get in yeah. some of that. That felt good. So there will be more because even me listening to it, you might have seen my face smiling. I'm like, damn, that did sound good. Yeah. <laughs> I was busy being focused. <laughs> I love I'll it. Say, Thank you so much. Wiggle all of your you. fingers. And through your toes. Yeah. Ah! I didn't know it was you at first. Like, Good. That's what I wanted. I'm like, I don't want them to know it's me. <laughs> Good job. Good job. I knew it was you off rib, but that's because that's because I know you. Yes. Love y'all so much. Like, and truly, what it said: uh, the light in me truly honors and sees the light in every single one of you. Namaste. Uh, that's what it means. Um, and you know, from Earl, yeah, Earl that, like that, yeah. he's big on that. Like the first day I went in his class and he did that, I was like. I'm in the right place. Yeah, yeah, like, that's yeah, how I felt. Yeah. Um, and okay, so that's it. Like, yeah. at our crib, you know? First you episode? Want... This is it. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for checking out our crib uncut first episode here. Mm -hmm. We have... Dolo the Gifted, Oa Oa. Wow, I should have went first, uh, Danica Arham. <laughs> 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 keep saying it like that, eh? Man. Dennis Barham. Jedi Master. Dennis Barham. Do it to be on Star Trek, y'all. Dennis Barham. Live long and prosper. Dennis Barham. I can't do that deep voice, bro. Dennis Barham. I like that. And now we, um, you promised, you promised, you promised too. That's true. <laughs> I would love four languages. You could look oh, at this camera. Oh my gosh. Like and subscribe. What should we say? Uh, you're watching Our Crib Uncut. Yeah, you're watching Our Crib Uncut. No, I'm your name. Yeah. <laughs> I'm your name and you're watching Our Crib Uncut. Cut. And we're here every Thursday. Like and subscribe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bonjour tout le monde. Je m'appelle Dolo the Gifted. Vous êtes en train de regarder notre maison pas coupé. Il faut, s'il vous plaît, suivre et euh, vous souscrire aussi. Hi guys, my name is Lord Gifted. Oh, 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 oh.
in English, obviously. <laughs> this is the very first episode of Art Crib on Cut, and you better like and subscribe. Buenas tardes, mi gente. Buenas noches, buenos días. Cualquier hora que es, me llamo Dolo de Gifted. Estamos aquí en la primera casa. Yeah. Se, dice, se dice casa. Sí. Estamos aquí en la primera casa <laughs> cortada, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, gusta y uh, suscríbase, por favor. Eh, boa tarde a todo mundo, aqui sou Arnaldo, a.k.a. Dolo de Gifted, estamos aqui na nossa casa, Uncut, uh, gosta e se inscreva, por favor, oa, 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 super talented, yes, I don't have an act, nah, opportunities, opportunities, yeah, give, us, give us some, just give us anything, Okay. Give us your accent. <laughs> Give us your accent. Give us your accent. Cribs uncut every Thursday. That's all I got. Yeah! Wait, 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 Yes, I like that. Wait, 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 Thursday. I was just like, score. yo. <laughs> yeah. That Did you say that? <laughs> All right, All right guys. Nice. You are here. You saw it first. Our okay. crib on cut. My name's Allison Davis. I'm here every Thursday with Elle right now, 7 o'clock. And I'm El Del Leon. Some call me LD Live. Wow. Oh, yes. That was even better and, than me. Yo, <laughs> coming through our crib uncut every Thursday. You see what it's about. Thank you to the crew in the back. Yep, Shout yep. out to Mo and Jono and Sean. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. And all, all right. of us. Yeah. All of us. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next week. Skadoosh. Peace. Peace. I like that. Hey, right, we done. We rock. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. This is kind of nice. I can, I Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah.